Well, hello everybody, coming to you today from Markham Park here in Broward County, Florida, just west of uh, Fort Lauderdale. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, Minitini, our travel trailer. And it is a Winnebago Micro Mini 1706 FB, a 2015 model. At the time it was the smallest, I mean the, the, the lightest and probably the smallest uh, the, they made. Now they have other, other models. But let me show you, I want to do a quick review here, tell you what we like, what we don't like, what has worked out uh, uh, along the last uh, three years uh, that we have, we've had it. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be, because I'm free in my RV. This video is sponsored by Rat Power Bikes. Uh, first of all, we have a power awning, which I'm gonna open later on, and this is for our GoPro side camera. It does have this uh, awning style windows, which are like the, the Rage at one point. And they're great because of the fact that you can uh, leave them open even if it's raining, but they're not great for air circulation, as you can see. And um, to be honest about it, I would like a window that I could stick my head out of, you know, like a, that, that felt more like a real window. Now, uh, one of the greatest features our travel trailer has is this fantastic, you know, um, basement storage down here. It goes all the way through to the other side and there's room for a lot of stuff in here. And I do have a lot of stuff in here. I have my grill, you know, all kinds of accessories and the stuff the, to, to hitch it up to the car and all that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have a, this used to be incandescent, I changed it into a, a, an LED light and we also have uh, these two horrible speakers, worst speakers uh, in history I, uh, and where I go ought to be ashamed of themselves uh, to, to put such low quality speakers on their trailer. Okay, let's go here to the front. We have an 80 amp uh, hour battery or at least it was 80 amps when it was new. Now it's, it probably doesn't quite uh, it, it, it needs to be replaced soon, let's just say that. These are two 20 um, uh, gallon propane tanks. Very cool, very, because the, the, the cool thing about it, when one is empty, you can still use the other one and then take this, the, the one that is empty out and, and go fill it up. We have a power jack. They didn't come with a power jack, but when I saw the, in the walkthrough when the, the guy was going up and down like this, I'm like, how much is the power jack? Because I didn't want to go through all that. Uh, exercise especially in the Florida heat and I apologize if you hear some wind noise but it's a little wind here's another it's closed so I'm not gonna open it but that's that's the other entry into the basement here we have our uh, latest upgrade which I haven't been able to fully uh, test yet this is a Truma Aquago water heater the, the RV actually came originally with a um, uh, the Atwood on demand, the, the tankless model, OD50 is called the model number, and uh, that was a, a atrocious uh, um, water heater. We haven't been able to fully test it because today uh, our shower faucet broke. So, as you know, on these uh, RVs, there's always uh, something breaking. So, that's it. We have a, a park cable, satellite hookup. That's our uh, city water fill, gravity fill, or a 30 amp uh, electrical. Uh, what else do we have here on this side of the RV? This is the back of the furnace. This is the back of the refrigerator. And um, here we have tandem axles. It's very, very easy to tow this trailer. That's, a, that's another great feature because it is a kind of light and, um, and has that tandem axle. I could, I could tow it with my SUV, you know. So you, with, a, with a fairly strong SUV, you can pull it. You don't need a, a heavy truck. Here's our black tan flush. To, to clean up the inside of the of the black water tank, you know that's usually you, you, usually very important. Here's an outside shower, very nice. Uh, one thing I don't really like much is, as you can see here, uh, the, the the sewer uh, outlet is kind of close to the ground, so sometimes there is not enough uh, um, incline, you know, to, for gravity to do its thing. So so things might get stuck in the middle of the hose and. That's not necessarily a good thing. Here's the back of the trailer. I have some stickers, my own uh, branding sticker here, stickers for all some of the, the other YouTube channels that I follow. And now I'm, I, I know I'm not supposed to climb on this roof, but I just wanna show you some of the upgrades that I've done. By the way, this is a, um, 
the, our spare tire and that's a hitch that I, that I installed to put the bike rack until I realized that that you're not supposed to uh, put much weight on this uh, bumper unless you reinforce it and I plan to reinforce it in the future so we can um, put some stuff up there let me go into the roof so I can show you guys what I've done with the place well here we are and one of the first things I installed is this fantastic vent which is really good especially when the when the weather conditions are are cooler it, during the during the uh, Florida summer of course it doesn't do much because it just pulls uh, uh, warm air so that's not good but the main upgrade I've done up here is this uh, solar panel It's a 100 watt sol solar panel that I bought from Renology and what they do they have like a kit that brings everything you might need uh, to install the solar panel so it came with a with a charge controller all the cables even the brackets all I had to buy was like like the Dicor's uh, self-leveling sealant for the roof and uh, that's really all I have done here with the roof let me go back down oh by the way I forgot to tell you our water tanks is uh, uh, 43 uh, gallons for fresh water which is pretty decent for an RV of this size and then we have 25 and 25 for gray and uh, and black black I, I have no problem with but the gray one sometimes it says that it's full and um, I don't know that makes me nervous because as you know uh, these uh, sensors as you probably know maybe you don't know these sensors are never accurate so it can tell you that it is full when it's really three quarters especially if there's some stuff uh, you know uh, clogging the, the sensors and then the, the fresh water also says empty and you still have a couple of gallons left so that's one, one another negative thing that that um, sometimes it sometimes or always those sensors are never accurate oh by the way here at the front we have a, a, a an antenna outlet and some power outlets and a tv location and if you follow my other videos you know i don't really watch much tv so we've never used this ever it does have some gutters up here to to drain the roof which is really nice what else oh the awning let me show you how the awning works i'm sorry it's a little dirty because you know But here's uh, the awning, it's, it's electric, of course. Yeah, I do have to, I do have to clean this awning up a little bit. The, the, the one thing I wanted to show you about the awning, and that's really my fault, many times I hit my head right here because I don't realize how low uh, this thing really is. Oh, another thing, it's getting kind of rusty, everything. I, I, I have to take better care of it, of course. But everything that is exposed to metal, it's getting rusty here in the in South Florida. Of course, it's we're right next to the ocean. It's very humid, so that's bound to happen. How do you like my new sticker? Okay, now I'm going to um, a word from our sponsor, Rad Power Bikes, and then I'm going to show you inside. Rad Power Bikes is an electric bike manufacturer offering direct-to-consumer pricing on powerful premium electric bikes. Because they sell directly to you, the consumer, you won't see the large retail markup that would be present if you were buying from a third party or a dealer, ensuring you're always getting a performance e-bike at a fraction of the cost. Visit www.radpowerbikes.com or call 1-800-939-0310 to learn more about their models or to place an order. Now offering free shipping on all four models. Well, hello and welcome to our humble home. <laughs> Let me show you what we've done with the place here real quick. Uh, this is, of course, our Winnebago Micro Mini. Let me turn off the AC real quick so you can hear me better. And uh, let me begin here. Uh, pretty much clockwise is uh, beginning here at the entrance and of course we like the fact that we have uh, LED lights all over the place uh, it gives her a modern look uh, besides uh, being uh, very economical uh, very power efficient here's our, our Jensen stereo that came with the RV and it has a DVD player but we don't use it much anymore first of all because DVD player we don't have a TV anymore and second of all of, of all these uh, speakers are just marginally better than the ones outside so we don't use them much of course here we have this closet where I have all kinds of stuff but mainly up here this is a uh, power to the outside uh, light the patio light this uh, turns this one off and here we have our awning power 
which is uh, always a good idea to keep it off when on the road just in case there's uh, some kind of short circuit on the awning uh, uh, deploys in the middle of the road that wouldn't be a good thing here we have our heater and our water pump there you go did you hear that <laughs> and here the battery which um, says full obviously because we are on shore power right now and our fresh water black water gray water with, which normally are not this accurate, but I, I did make sure uh, to, to flush our black water and, and empty our gray water completely, just for this test. Here we have some more stuff. Down here we keep uh, our sandals and shoes and some um, of the cleaning supplies. Here, if you recall, this is where the TV used to be, and I turned this into a... Um, uh, wardrobe closet which I still have to get a, a low profile light here so I can open this door completely but I made this it's very nice right here and up here I made it into a charging station I have a 12 volt uh, outlet and a regular uh, 120 volt outlet and eventually we're gonna use that a lot more for charging our batteries I have a, a bunch of junk in here our walkie-talkies and and other electronics here's our tiny little bathroom very nice uh, it's adequate we have um, the regular uh, domestic uh, plastic uh, toilet RV toilet it's very standard in every RV I replaced the original shower with this oxygenic shower which actually oh, it started raining outside <laughs> uh, this oxygenic shower that it's uh, quite nice this broke the other day as I mentioned but uh, by the time you watch this video I'll have it fixed this is one of those faucets and then even uh, the, the idea is when you pull it up and then the water gets diverted to the shower but that's not working anymore here we have this dispenser this is something i added to and uh, here we have another light that we actually like to turn around down here there you go and i added this uh, paper towel dispenser that is out of paper towels i just noticed now here i have some storage you know hair dryer toilet paper all kinds of cleaning supplies this uh, mirror wasn't there originally i added that as well here coming this way here we have our uh, thermostat for our furnace and this here is the remote control for our fantastic vent that's something uh, another upgrade that I added it might open but what is gonna happen since it is raining I, I believe it is going to close automatically it started raining but there you go it has the, the this uh, rather sophisticated um, remote and you can you know lower the speed and then it also has a temperature control and it detected that it is raining and it is uh, closing automatically because it does have a rain sensor which is good in, in many ways eventually i want to get one of those uh, vents that that you can have it on uh, even if it's raining but anyways we have this thing here that originally i had it in the shower but we decided to put it here and, and, and it's, it's kind of falling apart eventually we're going to replace it but here we have like our core screw our um, coasters you know stuff to, to, to wash the dishes and here's our double sink right here with this extension that we don't really use anymore I added this the dispenser here as well I added this spice rack and here we're missing my oregano I'm, and my uh, cum cumin is in the house up here I have some more storage like my coffee sh sugars all kinds of stuff and here it's our uh, microwave it's a nice microwave it's not a convection uh, microwave uh, I guess th th there was not enough room here for for that here's the hood and here's you know standard RV uh, range most RVs have this uh, model by Atwood uh, you know it's propane it works most of the time there <laughs> and um, it is very nice I think I'm running out of propane in that tank anyways standard stuff it works it's not the greatest but uh, and uh, here the, the the rain has a, a light and a fan pretty cool now here we have more storage these drawers here we have uh, some you know cooking utensils now here this is a drawer of mysteries where you can find uh, batteries a level a tape measure a flashlights you know all kinds of stuff I don't even know what's in there half the time and um, down here this is our, our garbage this is the garbage can that I uh, added myself down here we have our pots and pans down here we have more cleaning supplies and all, all kinds of good stuff uh, here this used to be a, a hole in the wall and, uh, and, and an empty unused space and mostly unusable until I added this uh, net 
and now we can uh, hold uh, the stuff back there without the fear that it's gonna fall off uh, if we hit a bump on the road and back there I have my um, the, the charge controller for the solar panel that you guys saw on the roof here's a regular standard Dometic three-way uh, refrigerator it is an absorption type it's not the compressor Com no, compressor but you know it works with uh, right now it's on AC because we're connected to short power but it also works on DC sort of it, it does draw a lot of power so it, it will it would uh, it will kill the battery in, in just a few minutes I think and then it also works with propane and with propane it works uh, forever you can have it on all day long for days this is our furnace this is our electrical box and down here I installed a um, you have to hold it a power inverter with a 1000 watt power inverter that uh, you know we can use to charge our computers it even runs the the hair dryer in low and in medium not in high up here of course we have more storage more storage very nice LED lights back there and uh, our bed which is not as uncomfortable as some people will lead you to believe F for an RV bed it's alright I actually sleep here better than I do at home and now here is uh, we replaced the original dinette with this table this is a folding table from uh, IKEA and it's not the final product that I want to have here in the RV but it's a good intermediate step you know it folds down like that so we have more room it's pretty cool let me I added a light here so we can see and you can turn it off I added these uh, speakers these speakers I had laying around in the house they're Altec Lansing they're really high quality and they have a subwoofer and I added a, a Bluetooth adapter so that's our new stereo here in the RV and these uh, chairs they're probably not the most uh, comfortable but as I said this is like an intermediate step eventually I want to get better chairs eventually I might go with a, with a sofa I don't know I just all, all I know is that I did not like uh, that dinette that it was this fix uh, fixture here wasting all this uh, space down here I have a 12 volt uh, outlet which is very convenient I built that that's that was the wheel well down there down here I have more drawers here's where we usually put our our clothes or underwear all that stuff and here we have a domestic did, did you see a pattern here a lot of the stuff in, in the RV is domestic and a lot of the a lot of the items here are either domestic like the AC and the fridge and the and the toilet or Atwood like our range and our um, uh, furnace and uh, our sensors so um, and uh, this is a 13,500 BTU uh, unit I think they called the penguin by uh, by domestic and it works fine it cools the place down very nicely it is a little loud that's the only complaint that I have but you get used to it after a while what else can I show you here well we have more storage up here more storage up here here we have a crank up antenna that used to be the antenna for the TV I think I'm going to eventually I got an idea from another youtuber and they, they used it to to put their I don't know if it was their Wi-Fi booster antenna or their or their, their cell phone booster antenna and that's a great idea because I don't think I'm gonna have a, a, a TV in here anymore now uh, after you've seen everything that uh, we've done here and um, and even with all the the problems that it's had over the years especially that uh, water heater that came with it originally I'm very glad we had the we, we changed that um, this was almost like an impulse buy when we bought it back in 2014 um, we liked it and our premise for the purchase was pretty much uh, can I at least barely tow it with my current SUV and that was a very bare barely because it works we just uh, have to take it slow and not tackle uh, you know many steep hills and the other premise was that it fit in my driveway which I miscalculated and I didn't account for the awning but well it, it does kind of fit so that being said I, I, I think of, uh, in the end it was a good purchase we are very happy with it we're very happy with all the memories we've made since uh, we've had our travel trailer we've rediscovered our home state of Florida and we've visited uh, a lot of this uh, uh, the, the eastern side of the United States and now 
the next step we're gonna make by the time we watch this we're probably gonna be on our way uh, probably to Nebraska that's I think that's where we're gonna see the the great American eclipse that is going to happen on August 21st 2017 which is the year well, anyways uh, thank you thank you so much for watching this uh, three-year review and walkthrough of our uh, Wanabago Micro Mini 1706 FB and I've been doing one of these every year and I intend to do it uh, every year uh, also from now on so you guys can see uh, the progress we've made and all the all the future modifications that uh, we're going to do to our little home on wheels uh, making it every with every modification making it a little more like home yeah I smell MCD shades at some point <laughs> well bye now <laughs> All good things come to an end. But before you go, if you liked it, do me a solid and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, remember to subscribe if you haven't and check out my other videos. You can also visit the blog at travelingrobert.com, join the mailing list and follow me on social media at travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding with my RV